I want to welcome you all back to Universe Sandbox 2, and this is, as you can tell, this is a different kind of Universe Sandbox video. This is a Universe Sandbox 2 using the HTC Vive, and this is actually a feature in Universe Sandbox that has been around for a while, but uh, I just now got around to getting my VR setup all good to go because I had problems with it. Uh, my sensors were broken and I had to ship them back, and I was also... I had to clean my room to record the video, but here we go. We are finally recording the VR version of Universe Sandbox. I'm not sure if it has all the features of the normal Universe Sandbox, but it definitely has some interesting ones. I can actually feel like God and control the Earth. I can boop the Earth. And I notice when, I, when I'm moving them back and forth, it'll go faster. It's like I'm adding some velocity by... Whew. Oh shit, what did I just do? Holy shit! Okay. Okay. <laughs> this is pretty badass. It's just seeing the explosion and all the particles fly up towards you. Kill it. Kill it. Thrust forward. So is that actually giving a velocity when I give some, like, momentum that precedes it? Moons, 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 moons. Woohoo! Ho ho, just launch all the moons. How quickly can I destroy my computer? Oh, okay, okay, all right, all right. We get the ultimate laser pointers in the universe. How, who should we strike first? Who do we hate the most? Chinese? No, who do we mess with? Is that Greenland right there? Let's mess with the green, Greenlandic. Greenlandic, are they the Greenlandic? Yes, we melt, oh my God, we just melted the entire ice caps. Oh. Who did we just mess up? I think we just destroyed Chicago? No, we destroyed Nebraska or something. Sorry, Nebraska. No casualties other than fish. Japan, sorry, we just destroyed all of Japan. Saudi Arabia's all gone. Black Sea, you know what? Just all of Europe. All of Europe is gonna die. So we actually, we don't get like those updated collisions I've noticed uh, with the VR version. That must not, because uh, I read up on their like developer blog that, um, that the game is actually separate from this, the, the VR version of the game is actually separate from the normal universe sandbox, so I guess like they have to update them separately. I'm just gonna fire a laser pointer at the sun until it explodes. I mean, how many, what is this? 5.41, is that exawatts? We have, that's gotta be a lot of power. That's probably as much power, as, that's probably the power of the sun. I shall, oh my god, I can control the mind of the sun. <laughs> okay, that's pretty cool, that's pretty cool. <laughs> Oh my god, these are the rings of Saturn and all of Saturn's moons. And I can just walk through all of their orbits. I really wish I could, I would affect their orbits. Like if I just like walk through all of this and just disrupt it, whoosh, that would be amazing. And like my controllers would just go, move, go right through the rings, whoom, and everything would just go flying. That'd be badass. Oh, but I can do that. Okay, okay. Look at that shit. They're flying everywhere. It's like I have a bunch of bees swarming me. I'm in a swarm of bees. Okay, we're moving Saturn, and we're just going to affect the orbits. Okay, okay, that's cool. Never mind, they do have that feature. Whoosh. <laughs> okay, we're gonna throw Saturn into the sun. Okay, here we go. And here's the pitch. I don't think that sun exists. All right, so now what I want to do is I want to hold on to a sun. Uh, right here. No, I don't want to launch it. Don't auto launch. Did that affect anything? That's just going to go off into space. Actually, I don't know. Is that going to go off into space? It looks like it's kind of curving its orbit. Please don't come back around. Oh, no. Oh, no, we're already affecting things. Okay, we got to save the solar system. Do auto, do manual, or still, or something. There we go. Sun. Sun. No. What the fuck? Oh my god. What am I about to witness? Ugh! I got you! Okay, now I'm gonna take you over to the other side. I'm gonna make you guys make up! Okay, I would like to, like, real. Ooh, there it is. Okay. Gotta control the sun. Control the sun. That thing is flinging too much. Come on! Get a little closer. It's going way too fast. Come on. Yeah, I got control over you! Whoa, nope! Nope! Oh god, I'm gonna end up getting tangled up. Come on, come on. Why are you flinging around too much? Get a little closer. Woo! <laughs> Look at that gravity assist. Okay, that might be going a little too fast now. Can we go back to the rest of the solar system? Well, okay, the moon is going to be still. I'm going to have my moon tool. Or sorry, my move tool ready. Okay, there we go. Don't go into the earth. There we go. God, what the fuck? 
Don't. Don't. No. No. Okay, now we're going to pull the Earth. We now have control over the Earth. Watch the Earth gradually get closer to the moon. It's not going to happen. And then we'll bring Earth down. This is the power. This is a perfect example of how the even something as small as the moon still has a pretty significant gravitational pull on the Earth. Assuming if God or whoever held onto the moon and didn't allow it to move, we do have a tug on the Earth, and now we're giving it velocity, and so suddenly if we go back, back up here, it's going to take a while to change that vector. We're going to attract a star. Step one, proximity. Step two, common interest, fucking over the solar system. That's a binary system. It's just so bright. But I could tell. What the hell? Are they just orbiting so close? Hello? Hello? Dead Earth? Lively Earth. Lively Earth? Lively Earth? Dead Earth. Lively Earth? Dead Earth. It's like life, death. Life, death. Life, death. We're just back to the good old solar system. Zoom in. So things look a little bit better. Fly around through the solar system. Okay, so there's the sun. The sun looks like it's two suns. What the hell? This game is so broken. What's even going on? Is the moon... Oh, the moon is just flying towards the sun so fast. I don't even know if we can get supernovas in this. Well, this has been the VR version of Universe Sandbox. Uh, I don't know if I tapped into all the features, but I think I've tapped into the majority of it. It's 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 just kind of like, you know, it's just there. The VR version is there, but I definitely I'd say I definitely still prefer the the normal version of the game. I mean it's cool getting like all the uh, you know everything up in your face and the explosions and all. But uh, maybe uh you know there'll be some updates to it to improve it. But it seems like there's a lot of glitches. Uh doesn't feel fully like tuned. Like it seems like there's some frame rate issues, even like blur effects when I move this uh the controller's too fast, but I don't know if that's just a VR thing in general. If I miss anything, let me know and I can dabble back into it. If there's any, like, cool ideas you have for experiments, uh, I will definitely be interested in checking it out. Seriously, what's with the two suns? And they're just kind of sitting there. <laughs> okay. All right, I will see you guys later. Like, that's amazing! It's actually orbiting so close. The moon's orbiting so close, it's ripping the moon apart. That is... So... Awesome.